Prepare for a week of economic number news flashes. Across Asia, wave after wave of statistics are expected to signal in one country after another an end to the recession. It will be a packed week, and I think this will help to bring back volumes after the Chinese New Year as well in Asia. And we'll also show to, uh, to overseas investors, actually, that the Greece effect is not really impacting the growth in Asia too much. Economists surveyed by Bloomberg see Taiwan exiting its deepest recession on record last quarter as the global recovery spurred demand for the island's semiconductors and mobile phones. Thailand's custom agency on Friday offered this clue to GDP growth. Exports in January rose 31 percent from last year, the most in 18 months. Exports account for more than 60 percent of the Thai economy. India releases its latest GDP numbers this Friday, the 26th. A government advisory panel has already said that the Indian economy may expand over 7 percent the year ending March 31st. And Singapore showed its GDP cards three days ago, saying it sees the economy expanding this year by up to 6.5 percent. With upbeat news arriving on Asia's shores, why are stocks trading down? Roger Grobley thinks traders are taking the positive numbers as a given. The data reflect that the stimulus packages bear fruit now and the recovery is ongoing. But, as I said, on the other side we have the stock market, which a lot of this uh, positive news flow has already been priced in. So it needs an extra surprise. The type of surprise is not found in government statistics. In Thailand, for example, stocks lost 5 percent in January. There, the concern is that political risk will hamper growth. Traders seeming less impressed by economic numbers and more interested in how governments plan to react towards them whether raising interest rates or beginning to withdraw monetary stimulus.